Welcome, adventurers, to episode number four of our workout D&D edition. Get myself all set and ready and in the fine duds. I see we got a few people already checking in. So glad you're here, guys. If you have never been to one of our workouts before, they are a super fun and weird time. Tonight, again, I'm going to be trying to do both uh, Facebook and Instagram if my focus is split. That is why. But I'm so happy to hang out with you guys. If you're brand new to this, we're going to give things a moment for people to check in as they are. Uh, say hi. Let me know if you've been to an episode before, if you have, how many episodes you've been to. And if there's somebody who's new, introduce yourselves and say hi to them as well, guys. Encourage them so we can get a really awesome, uh, geeky, amazing, you know, crew of people that would like to get more fit and get better training. I'm going to get the music turned up a little bit, too, so we can get some good jams going for this get ourselves set up this is awesome oh hey alan glad you're here welcome back and michaela as well and patrick good to see you guys dan good to see you too my man we got a couple of familiar faces out here and patrick who's been to pretty much every one of these you're getting your car worked on i hope that goes well my man so guys, we're gonna be doing a bunch of fun stuff today, uh, and for this one, um, I guess let's start. Let's start things off with a little bit of a joke. So, what kind of armor do paladins wear? They wear chainmail because it's holy armor. Yeah. That's, that's the caliber we're going with tonight. So guys, let's start off by getting our shoulders loosened up. Let's do a couple of shoulder rolls. Rolling our shoulders back, rolling our shoulders back. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff with our arms, a lot with our shoulders today, because we're going dragon mode. We're gonna be flying. So good time to get those shoulders warmed up and ready. Roll them the other direction, other way. Stop in too, guys, and say what your home run fair is. This is a good chance for me to start to recognize more names, more people. It's been really fun seeing so many familiar faces. I'm excited for the time when I'll be able to recognize all of you, which is going to be amazing. Okay, you guys, good work. We're going to do a little bit of a wrist warm up, and then we're going to get into the story and into the action. I'm going to get into my workout clothes, my traditional tie dyed shirt. If you're wondering why I wear tie dye for my D&D workouts, it's because this is my battle clothing. I'm going to put the dye in tie dye. This is all just blood of various victims. I think there's some goblin blood over there. That's gremlin. Got some orc. This is all just drool. <laughs> it works. So let's warm up our wrists a little bit too, guys, and then we're going to get into the story itself, get into the action. So we got Michaela saying, got your water bottle, got your protein shake. Let's do this. Man, I love your energy, Michaela. You are always bringing it on these. <sighs> Lindsay saying, no Bristol. Yeah, we were super sad to hear that news. And with all the craziness going on this last week, it made it a little wild. So if we've rolled them a few times this way, let's do a couple of waves to get them ready. Good job, you guys. All right, let's get let's get into this. So previously on the D and D workout show, we made our way to the village of Fairhaven, where we found the queen being attacked by a bunch of goblins. Let's jog in place, guys. Gentle jog in place. She was attacked by the goblins and kidnapped. We went after her. We found that she was being traded to the evil sorceress Myers, who also has a gigantic purple dragon. Through a series of crazy fights, we won a magic wand. We made our way to the sorceress and the dragon. We were nearly destroyed, and in the last minute, we used the magic wand, and we began to polymorph into a dragon. Yeah pretty freaking fun. We also along the way teamed up with the Queen's Royal Corgi. This Corgi helped us to sniff our way to the Queen. This Corgi is massive, so strong we were able to ride upon it. It also got caught in our polymorph spell and it turned into a Pegasus Corgi, also known as a Porgy. That beautiful creature is named after Ricky, named Rinton Ricky. Big thank you to Myers and Ricky for supporting the show. You guys are awesome. I'll try to pick a different supporter, a different tipper every week to name a character after. Okay, guys, so let's do this. Okay, everyone, let's start off by jogging a little bit faster, a little bit faster. As always, if you like these shows, you can support it 
and you can join us on Patreon for more videos. You can throw a tip into our baskets on PayPal or Venmo. The info is on our Facebook group description. On Instagram, you guys, you can just go on Venmo to barely under slash balanced or PayPal just type in barely balanced. Okay, guys, so we have just activated our polymorph spell. The wand is kicking it out. We see Sorceress Myers before us. We see the massive dragon before us. They have spells unleashing. The wand activates and time slows down. Your skin ripples and scales form like falling dominoes across your flesh. Everybody, let's shake out all those new scales by twisting side to side and just letting our hands kind of flop across the kidneys and chest, getting a little bit of a twist going. Good job, everybody. Keep going, feel those scales. Twist a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. See if you can look a little behind you. Don't overdo it. Right now we're warming up as those scales form. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Good job, you guys. Jogging in place. Your back then bursts apart and wings unfurl from your shoulders. So let's activate those wings, you guys. So big reach up high, reach across, knees slightly bent, roll down. Bring your hands up, reach high, arms apart, reach down. Feel the wings exploding from your spine through your shoulder blades. Feel your muscles getting longer and stronger as you become a dragon. If you were to become a dragon, what color dragon would you be, especially in your current mood? And what would be your breath attack? I think for me, today, I'd be a green dragon, and my breath attack would be just vomiting pea soup exorcist style. One more, you guys, big reach. Roll it down, bring it up. Good job, you guys. You flap your wings, jog in place. They tingle like a sleeping limb. Blood pulses through a hundred new veins and you begin to gain feeling and control as your wings harden with those diamond-like scales. So let's extend those wings. So reach forwards, big, open, and across. And now let's just take it all the way into a hug. Let's get the full wing expression here. If you want to get your lower body into it, you can do a little side-to-side -side step. I'll check and see if we able to write about what sort of a color dragon they would want to be. Eric is back. Good to have you here, Mr. Viking. Thank you for tipping last show, too, my man. Glad you're here to get ripped. Good to see you checking in. Just a few more, you guys, side to side, big chest openers. Good work. I like doing that little backwards step to get my hips to loosen up a little. Just stepping one foot behind the other. Just five more seconds of those. Extending your arms, you guys, chest openers, keep going. Time snaps back to its normal speed. You see Sorceress Myers claw at the air and unleash an arcane sleet storm. Her dragon roars, an inferno of blue flame. Everyone, use your new wings to shield you and your battle corgi. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna step into a back lunge, arms wide, step forwards, reach your arms into a hunch, switch legs. Step back, forwards into a hunch. Imagine your battle corgi, Rin Tin Ricky, in front of you, and you've got to get your wings in and cover him. Deflect that sleet storm. Deflect that blue inferno of flames from the other dragon. Good work, you guys. Just 10 more seconds of these. You're doing awesome. Keep it up. Back step and then chest open and in for the hunch. You're hoping this will work. Will it work? You don't know. You're just winging it. I think that might be bad joke number three so far. I'm sure John Bo Brody or Patrick is keeping track. Good job, you guys. Jog in place, jog in place. You deflect their attack. You laugh, and it comes out as a dragon's roar. Let's see how they like your own fire blast. You take a great big breath 
everyone. Let's make room in our ribs for a big breath. So reach to the side, extend your ribs, bring it in. Reach to the side, bring it in. Good work, you guys. Reaching right across. 15 more seconds of these. Get those ribs to open up. Do you know how a dragon freshens its breath? It eats the toes of men. Men toes. <laughs> I know, it's such a bad joke. But they bring me so much joy. All right, you guys, good job with the reaches. So good seeing you guys still checking in, too. Glad that you all are here. All right, guys, next, you exhale and aim at both of them. So here's what we're going to do, you guys. You're going to point with one hand, and then your other arm is going to pull your leg up into a calf stretch. Point, other leg, calf stretch, switching back and forth. Point, and imagine you're aiming. <sighs> exhale the point. Activate your dragon power. Pick your target. Right now, I'm just exhaling into all your faces. I really should not have picked my breath weapon to be projectile vomiting pea soup. I hope you at home can smell it. Oh, and Annalise is saying, hey, from Tucson, Arizona. I bet you guys are roasting. You do not need any dragon's fire. What is it, like 115 degrees out there? All right, five more seconds, you guys. Back and forth, back and forth. Good work. Jog in place, everyone. You exude your fire attack. But nothing happens. All there is is slightly stinky air roaring out. What's going on? Sorceress Myers laughs. <laughs> Y'all, magic is pitiful. You know nothing of being a serpent. She snaps her finger and green webs drag the queen and yank her atop her dragon's spiked back. Everyone, fast feet, quicker feet, quicker feet. Keep it going, you guys. She pulls the queen onto the dragon's back and traps her into a cocoon of emerald strands. Slow back into a regular jog. In a blink, the webs that are encasing the queen also shoot towards you. Quickly, everyone, dodge the attacks. Jump side to side, feet together. Small hops, side to side. We're waking up our knees. We're waking up our quads, our ankles. Again, our arms firing. Dodge those web attacks, you guys. Doing good. I love the idea of somebody checking in right now and just have it look like I'm doing some really, really low budget slalom skiing. Like this is how we do it in Georgia. <sighs> Swamp skiing. Good job, you guys. Just 10 more seconds. <sighs> oh, hey, welcome back, Aaron. Oh, you're actually a new one, too. That's great. Aaron, I thought you were one of our other Aaron's on here. Or as I like to call him, A.A. Ron. But I'm glad you're here. Okay, you guys, jog in place. You dodge web after web. But this new body is taking some serious getting used to. You're just not used to being a four-legged dragon yet. You roll a nat one on your deck save and the webs crash into you. You get both your front talons snagged. Everyone, hands together into a fist. Reach up, chop down. Up, chop down. Break your hands free. Good work. Imagine you are chopping your talon hands, trying to rip them free of that arcane webbing. Speaking of webs, the other day, Margaret asked me to take a spider outside. You know, instead of killing it, she said, can you take the spider out? I said, sure, I'll take him out. So me and the spider went out for drinks. Turned out to be a great guy. He wants to be a web designer. <laughs> Good work, you guys. Just a moment longer. Five more seconds. One more chop. One more chop. Good work. Jog in place. Seeing you struggle with the webs, 
your porgy, Rin Tin Ricky, zooms in, its tiny wings fluttering, and it slams into the webs, trying to rip its way through. So everyone, let's be Rin Tin Ricky. So get yourselves into a squat. You're then gonna take your arms into very quick motions like this, like an alligator. Be Rin Tin Ricky's mouth, chewing through the webbing, helping you to victory. Our fearless animal companion. Five more seconds, then we're gonna switch to the other hand on top. Three, two, one, switch, other side. Quick chopping motions, ripping our way through the webs. Good work, you guys. If you want to make it more of a challenge, get into a lower squat. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Jog in place. Sorceress Myers turns to her majestic purple dragon as she sees Rin Tin Ricky ripping you out of her webs. She scoffs. <laughs> and she says, Reinhardt. Reinhardt is the name of her dragon, named after Brenda Reinhardt. Thank you so much for tipping last week's episode. You will now be immortalized as the badass dragon. Reinhardt, the wayfarer, can do little more than slither. It is no threat. We have our prize. Take wing. Reinhardt's wings crack open like thunder. Everyone, fast feet, fast feet. The blast of air makes you stagger. Faster for five, four, three, two, one. Slow it back to a regular jog. Reinhardt shoots elegantly into the clouds like an enormous purple ribbon. We can't let them escape. It's time to see if this new body of ours can fly. You extend your new wings and try to lift off. Let's do this, guys. We're gonna do standing supermans. If you've never done these before, I'll demonstrate and then follow my lead. <laughs> there we go, sorry about that, guys. Getting this all set up, trying out a brand new uh, camera holder sent to me by Alan Bell. Thank you, Alan. A new one that can hold multiple at the same time. So here we go, guys. Standing Supermans, we're gonna try out our new wings. So standing with your feet together, you're gonna bend forwards, touch both your toes, and then come up and extend your arms. Touch your toes, extend your arms. Just like this. If you wanna make it a little bit more of a challenge, then as you come up, raise one leg as well. Bring it in, raise the other leg. Okay, guys? <laughs> We've got 30 seconds of this. Let's get those new wings and see if we can lift off. Keep going, you guys. Big extensions. Keeping your supporting leg slightly bent in the knee. If you find the balance to be a little bit of an issue, pick one spot to focus at. If you can keep your head still, your eyes still, the balance will come together. Five. Four, three, two, one. Good job, everyone. Okay, jog in place, you guys. It's working. Your taloned feet leave the ground. Beside you, Rin Tin Ricky rapidly flaps its tiny wings and manages to hover at your side. You laugh at the joy of it. You're flying. Reinhardt, here we come. Okay, guys, we gotta go faster. So this time, bent over rows. So your feet, a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart, bend your knees slightly, hinge at the waist forwards, and then with your hands, bring them open and squeeze your fists as you come open, okay? Imagine there's a string between those hands as you're buffeting the air and lifting off. If you wanna make this more challenging, Balance on one leg while you do this. See if you can pass the dex check. If you are balancing on one leg, we're gonna switch legs in five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs. If you are balancing on two legs and you wanna make this a little bit more of a challenge, 
into a slightly deeper squat as you do this, or you can hold cans of soup in your hands for a little bit of weight and resistance. Good job, you guys, and done. You got it, you guys. Gentle jog. We're almost at a water break. You're doing real good. The earth falls away beneath you. Looking down is dizzying. You falter, losing some altitude, but refuse to give up. You are the wayfarer. You are the hero who travels between lands, trying to create peace. You can do this. You dig deeper and go higher. You guys, we gotta fly up all the way above the clouds. The way we're gonna do this is the biggest arm motions we can with jumping jacks. If you're new to working out, try half jacks. Step to the side, bring your arm up and in. Step, arm in. If you are brand new to working out, this motion, we got 45 seconds of these, okay? If you've been working out for a little while and you want to make it a little bit harder, you go to a full jumping jack, but you don't have to go super fast. I want a full range of motion. You got to get those wings going. Full range. I would rather you go slower, but have good form. Soft landing, quiet landing, big arms. You see the clouds parting. You soar higher and higher. Peg a corgi, Rin Tin Ricky, right on your tail. Rin Tin Ricky begins to falter. He can't quite keep up, so he bites out of the tip of your tail and is now surfing behind you like a wakeboarder in the air. It's big, pointed corgi ears flopping. And it's Pegasus Mane, majestic. And it's slobber coating your tail. Good work, you guys. Jog in place. All right, you guys, the clouds have parted. And they trail behind you, creating a roiling wake of mist. Up ahead, you can see your foe. Mistress Myers and the Dragon Reinhardt, and tied to her back, the Queen. You're catching up. You can do this. You just need one last burst of speed. Last burst before the water break. Quick feet, you guys. Quick feet. Five, four, a little bit faster. Three, two, one. Gentle jog. You guys, quick water break. Try to keep moving though, even if it's just a gentle shuffling in place. You're doing amazing. If you're surviving, if you're not giving up, let me see a heart emoji on the screen to let me know you are out there and that you got this, that you got that dragon heart. Whew. It's a good one today, getting me moving. Whew. Oh. Love seeing those hearts rolling in, you guys. That's awesome. So glad you're with me on this. Doing so good, you guys. That is our warm up. We are more than halfway through the workout. I hope you're warm. I sure am. It is so humid today in Georgia. You're about two thirds of your way already through this workout. We're gonna hit some hard workouts, but totally achievable with a lot of modifications. Congratulations, you guys. That can be the hardest part is just while we get warm. Oh, and shoot, and I also wanna give a huge shout out to Sarah for tipping. That is awesome. Sarah, uh, I think, doesn't Sarah mean princess? So maybe this is like the queen's daughter. Ooh. Thank you for your support, Sarah. Really appreciate that. Okay, you guys, back into the workout. Super quick sip of water from me, and we are getting back into this. Mm. You slam into Reinhardt like a living spear. You are so high in the air. You've never wrestled while flying thousands of feet above the ground. It's time to join the Mile High Club. Here we go, you guys. Time to kick some dragon booty. You come soaring in as your dragon form. Your arms are wide. You see them ahead of you. Here's what I want you to do. Reach forward with your talons. Reach in with your talons. Kick one foot forwards. Reach in with the talons. Kick forwards. Just like this. 
Now, on the workouts moving forwards, I'm going to say I want you to do this amount of a workout plus your level. You choose what your hero's level is. You will add that number. If you're new to working out, level one. Switch feet, you guys. Talons in, foot forwards. If you've been working out for a little while, you've been to a couple of these episodes, try for level three. If you work out a bunch, working out is your hobby, is your passion. Try for level five to level 10, somewhere in that mix, okay, you guys? Last two, last one. Good job. Jog in place, you guys. Good work. Switch to high knees. Again, if you're brand new, I want you to do a high knee march, just like this. If you've been working out for a while, jogging high knees. You land several devastating blows. Scales fall to the earth like glittering rain. But then, Mistress Myers hits you with Dominate Monster, and you fail the whiz save. Oh no! Your body seizes as if paralyzed. Reinhardt flips you over with a vicious roar of joy and begins diving, pushing you towards the earth. Everyone, we're gonna do some groundwork now. If you have a mat, put the mat down. If you don't have a mat, that is fine. You can throw it on a towel, whatever you would like. I'm gonna adjust the camera now as we go to the groundwork. So everybody on their backs. You are being flung towards the earth. Your body paralyzed. Your bowels release. You briefly become a commode, oh dragon. On our backs, elbows into the ground. We're gonna do a reverse push-up. So fists with your hands. You're gonna try to lift your shoulders slightly off the ground, back down. You're going for 15 plus your level. Just like that, pressing up. Ready, guys? 15 plus your level. We've got 30 seconds. Let's get it, you guys. We've got to keep ourselves from crashing into the ground. Ugh. Try to get your wings to work. You can do it, you guys. She's got you with that dominate monster. She's paralyzed your body. You've got to push through. Extend your arms fully out, and go up a little higher. Again, 15 plus your level. We've only got 10 seconds left. Get your reps in. You can use stop and take a breather and get back into it. That's okay. Three, two, one. Good job, everybody. You're slowing your fall, but Reinhardt isn't letting go. Rin Tin Ricky flies in and pounces into Sorceress Myers, breaking her concentration. You begin to gain control of your limbs. Thank you, Porgy. But we still need to get free of Reinhardt. So here we go. Also, Beth, thank you for the tip. Super appreciate you, Beth. You're amazing. So we got to get free, even though we're still plummeting. So on our backs, legs in the sky. Reinhardt is above us, but we're starting to get our feeling back. Let's dig our talons right into Reinhardt. So you're gonna reach up, grab, come down. Up, grab, come down. 15, plus your level. We call these Jimi Hendrix. Let's reach for that sky. You got this, you guys. You're plummeting towards the earth. We gotta break free before we slam into the ground. 10 more seconds to get in your 15 plus your level. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job, everyone. Don't give up, it's beginning to work. Quickly, let's dig both of our talent feet into Reinhardt. Let's rip into that beast. So for this one, you guys, you're gonna go into a boat pose. So if you wanna support yourself with your hands back here and lift your legs up and off the ground, you're going to curl into the side. 10, plus your level on each side. I'll go to this camera so you can see the other angle. I'm coming in across the body. 
10 plus your level, and then we switch sides. 10 more seconds. I am feeling these. Kick with those talon feet. Good job, you guys. Take a quick breather, then we're gonna do the other side. Good work. Okay, guys, other side. 10 plus your level. Here we go. There's nothing wrong if you gotta stop and take a breather. These are difficult. Just do your best to get them in within the time. You're not in this alone. I'm with you. All your workout buds watching, they're also struggling, they're also trying. And Rin Tin Ricky, the Pegacorgi, has your back. Five seconds, you guys. Three, two, one. Good job. Reinhardt growls and his hold slackens. Your attack has worked, but you're about to hit the ground. Quickly, you gotta shove yourself free. Get away from Reinhardt. For this, we're doing a modified military press. If you have a chair or a wall, you can use this. You're gonna go against the wall or a chair. You're gonna press in and push out. You can have your feet right under your waist, or if you wanna make it harder, Step your feet further out. 15 plus your level. If you want to make it harder, go to the ground. And on the ground, in a down dog, just like this. 15 plus your level. We've only got 10 more seconds to push ourselves free before we crash into the ground. Five, four, three, two, Good job, everyone. Military presses are not easy. We are working those shoulders today. Reinhardt falls back. You fly up, getting the high ground. Sorceress Myers scowls and screams, it's time to end this. She launches a barrage of chain lightning. Everyone, it's time for a deck save. Quick, we have to dodge the chain lightning. So the way we're doing this is we're doing version one, if you are level one, is gonna be a hands and knees plank. Walk your feet a little ways out. Get your butt squeezed. And you're gonna bob side to side as you dodge the lightning. To make it a little bit harder, you're gonna come up into a full plank, dodging side to side. If you can do this and it feels like you're up to the challenge, hold in place and try to raise one arm. Hold, raise your other leg as well. Hold. We're gonna hold this for another 10 seconds and then we're gonna switch sides. Lightning crackling around you, switch sides. You can do this, guys. Keep your core engaged. Keep your belly button squeezed towards your spine. Keep that dragon booty tight. Imagine that you've raised those limbs to dodge the lightning. 10, nine, five, whoa, losing my balance, four, three, two, one. Come out, shake those arms, you guys. You're doing great. We are almost at the end of this workout, you guys. You are too fast. Your dragon body, golden scales, slip past each lightning bolt as you pass with flying colors. You smile, showing off rows of teeth the size of butcher's knives. I think we should swoop in for an attack. What do you guys think? Let's do this right against Sorceress Myers while we have an opening. It's time for an in-flight meal. You guys, this workout as we swoop in is gonna be a challenging one, but you can do it. After this, we have one more challenging workout and then one that's not too bad. So dig deep on this, don't give up. To swoop in for the attack, if you have a wall or a chair, I'm gonna show you that version first. With the chair, you're gonna come like this here. You're gonna swoop in, 
push up, come down. Swoop in, push up, come down. If you want to do this against a wall or a chair, we're going to do that motion, you guys. I'll show you on the ground. You're going to try to do 15 plus your level. On the ground, you're going to go into an up dog position. And then you're going to swoop through, up and back. Become the dragon, sinuous, fast, sliding in for the attack. 15 of these plus your level. During the week, if you want to work out, but you don't have a lot of time, doing this motion and doing squats is a great way to target and hit a lot of muscles with just a few actions. Good job, you guys. Just 10 more seconds to get in your amount of 15 plus your level. Five seconds. Two and one. Phenomenal job, everyone. So proud of all of you. Those are not easy. Okay, two workouts left. Quick drink of water. We're at the finish line. Mm. Okay, guys, you swoop right between Reinhardt's wings, and Sorceress Myers frantically throws up an arcane shield, but your teeth puncture into it. Let's rip her from the saddle. So you guys, hands and knees plank or a full plank, whatever works for you in your fitness journey. Once you're in that position, you're gonna imagine that you get your talons into her, reach up high into a side plank, come down and then through your armpit, reaching to the other side. Bring it up and through, 10 on each side, plus your chosen level. Rolling through, ripping her from the saddle. You can do it, guys. We're almost at the end. You got five seconds, now we're switching sides. Three, two, one. Other side, you guys. You got this. After this, we've got one not too crazy workout, and then we are at the finish line. You got this. 10 plus your level. Grab those talons in. Rip her from the saddle. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, you guys. Shake it out. Sorceress Myers is flung from the saddle and screams ah! as she finds herself in open space. Her hand cracks out and a green tendril shoots itself from her to the saddle's pommel. Rin Tin Ricky immediately zips in and begins biting through the web. Everybody, last workout, okay? Get into a squat position. Our legs are wide, a wide squat. My feet are angled slightly out. My knees are tracking with my toes and not going over my toes. My knees stay in line with my ankles. Last workout. Get yourselves into position. Hold that squat. As Rin Tin Ricky chews through the webs, you, however, look to the queen and also the dragon saddle. Its pommel is a glittering crystal. It looks like a focus crystal. That might be what the sorceress is using to control the dragon. With a powerful enough blast of magic, you could destroy it. Then, what would happen to Reinhardt? You've got to break that crystal, but how? If only you could breathe fire. Ugh. Heck, right now, being able to just catch your breath would be nice. Or maybe to have two or three towels to soak up your sweat. But wait, maybe that's it. Now, 
You are heat. Your muscles burn. Let's take all that fire within you and push it out. Last workout, you guys. Low squat. You're going to take your arms wide, bring them forwards, and push out as you do that. Just like this. Pushing. Getting all that heat within you. Everything you've built up through this workout. Squat pulses, arms forwards. Faster, harder, stronger. You've got this. Take everything you've worked hard for, everything you've been struggling through, and push it out. Send it into that crystal. Three, two, one. Great job, everyone. Fire bursts out of your jaws. The crystal is engulfed and shatters. Every green tendril encasing the queen vanishes to dust, and the queen falls towards the earth. Reinhardt, the dragon, spasms, and her massive cat-like eyes turn a pale blue. The dragon turns from you and then roars at Sorceress Myers. What will happen next? Will we have to fight both of them? Will we save the queen before she plummets into the earth? Tune in next week to find out. You guys, you did it. You made it through another workout. Congratulations. You guys, fist bump right now. Send me a thumbs up on the screen. Digital fist bump my way. Let me know that you made it through this workout and that you still got some fire within you. Love going through this with you guys. That was so much fun. Oh, and I also want to thank... Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, I want to thank another tipper. This is so funny, this worked out. Our, la our last tipper was named Crystal. I promise we didn't destroy you, Crystal. We love you, but thank you for tipping. That means the world to us. Guys, we're going to move on to our cool down, okay? Cool down stretch. This is the part where we get to hang out and chat. But while our bodies are warm, while we're still getting into it, I want to make sure that we are moving still. So everybody, up on your feet. Let's get a quick stretch in, okay? So legs wide, reach up high, knees slightly bent, roll down. Reach up high, big inhale, roll down. How was the workout this week, guys? Was it okay for you? Did I modify things? Oh, we just got another tipper as well. Sandra, thank you so much. I super appreciate you. Sandra, you are amazing. I'm going to imagine you got that name because you are the queen of creating sand castles. A sand bender. Oh. Good job, you guys. Okay, next we're going to do just a couple of side-to-side -side stretches. So legs wide, hand to the side, reach across, open those ribs. Let's get a nice stretch through those ribs. Good job. I'm still catching my breath. I don't know about you guys. That was a wild one this week. Good work. Other side. Bring the hand down. Reach across. So if you are brand new to our workouts, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to our family. Welcome to our team. We call ourselves the Workout Buds. We've been doing different workouts for about two months now. And we've been doing these D&D ones for a month. Oh, he's got another tipper. Shoot, thank you so much. Let me see if I can see that name from here. Oh, I just missed it. What was that name? Oh, it's another Chris. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Chris. Super appreciate you, man. You are the best. I will add your name to our list of people that we might pick for the next NPC's name. Let's do a little bit of a wrist and shoulder stretch. So let's interlock our fingers. And then you're going to push forwards and do a gentle round forwards as you interlock those fingers. So I have a question for you guys as we're like stretching and hanging out is if you bring it back in, bring your fingertips behind you interlaced, extend open. 
Oh, Cheryl, thank you. That is the Cheryl that we have named. Cheryl Myers that we've named our sorceress after. Really appreciate you, Cheryl. So guys, if you could live in any fantasy universe, that could be a fantasy book, fantasy TV show, fantasy movie, what universe would you want to live in? What would be the one you would pick? Come out of that, you guys. Roll your shoulders a few times. For me, I think I would pick... Mm, it's a hard choice. I think I would pick the Iron Druid Chronicles. Have you guys read that book series? I like it because the druids, they can go to pretty much any plane of existence. So all the different mythology of gods can be visited. <sighs> Makes for a really fun read, too. The first couple of books in that series are really stellar. Oh, good job, you guys. Roll them the other direction. I want to see my Aunt Linda just checked in. Hey, Linda, I love you so much. One of my favorite humans in the whole world. Oh, good job, you guys. I'm going to adjust the feed real quick. That's great. Oh, and Brenda, thank you for the tip. Really appreciate that, Brenda. Right now, while we're out of work, that helps a lot. and helps me to keep making these videos week after week. Okay, guys, we just did a little bit of that. Let's do a little bit of a wrist stretch next. So I want you to take your hand forwards, grab your palm, bring it in real tight. Good job, you guys. Just give that a little stretch there. We're going to hold that for just a moment longer, and then we're going to switch sides. L-Town is saying, Final Fantasy, pre-7 era. Want to be a Moogle? You know, I have heard so many great things about the Final Fantasy series. I have got to check those games out. Growing up, I didn't have um, any of the game stations. Uh, that makes me sound so old to say it that way. I didn't have, like, NES or any of that. So I never grew up playing them, but they look so cool. PC games are all of my first ones. Okay, come out of that, you guys, and then take it the other way so your hand is forwards. Pull it in, and then gentle stretch that way. <sighs> Country Love is saying that you are all about Disney, so it would have to be Disney World. Man, that would be super fun. We were just talking about Disney movies that a lot of people haven't had a chance to see. Okay, come out of that stretch. Some of these ones that kind of go like a little under the radar. So other side, hand forwards. Stretch it in. And Princess and the Frog. Have you guys watched that movie? It is surprisingly funny and really good. I was like blown away by how much fun that one was. It even made me cry at one point with the lightning bug. Really good movie. So if you haven't seen that one, check it out. It's a good one. Yeah, or Avengers. Yeah, the Avengers world. That would be good. Okay, come out of that. Flip the hand the other way and then pull it in that direction. Good job, you guys. And I see my buddy Jared is watching. Hey, Jared. He became a, I don't know if, the, if I'm saying the right word, a flight attendant? Is that the right word? Um, but he became that, that uh, got that career, got through everything um, right before COVID happened. So he has had a crazy year. It's been great seeing his pictures and to see like what sort of safety stuff they're doing right now for all that. Good job, you guys. Shake it off a little bit, make a few fists, make a couple of knocks. <sighs> Beth, you're saying that you can't do some of these because your knees are really bad. I 100%, 100% understand what that is like. We are going to be doing a special knee therapy workout on our Patreon in the coming weeks. We're going to be doing stuff for wrists and lower back, all that stuff. So tune in on there for some of that stuff. Okay, guys, next what we're going to do is we're going to stretch out um, our, our forearms in one other weird way. It's a great stretch. But it is a little weird. So you're going to bring your knuckles together and then try to bring your fingertips pointed to the sky. Then while pressing your knuckles together, you're going to extend downward. And you should feel a really interesting, weird stretch. If you do it with your hands against the ground, it's a little bit easier to feel the stretch. But just so that way I don't come out of frame, I'm going to do it standing and look like King Kong. Like I'm about to throw some barrels at somebody or climb the uh, Empire State Building. <laughs> Michaela's saying that that is uh, your second favorite Disney movie. Yeah, I agree. Princess and the Frog, so good. But yeah, you guys, so, so some of the ones you guys want to live within, if you could, I'm seeing Doctor Who. Yes, Doctor Who. Boy, there is a lot of fun places to visit. Okay, come out of that, and let's just make a couple of fists, couple of knucks. 
Okay, let's stretch out our arms because we did a lot with our arms today. So let's bring our arm in front of us, hug it across, and bring it in. I sing Avatar The Last Airbender. That was my number two. I was totally torn between that and Iron Druid. I love The Last Airbender. That whole world is so, like, joyful and weird and silly and just magical in all the right ways. I think Aang is so relatable. I love how much he just wants to show off and <laughs> kind of avoid responsibility. I feel like that is me 100%. Just, like, live that nomad life defy gravity and just have fun <sighs> sand the divide it's a trilogy of books about a boy who crosses to a mythical land casey that sounds really fun i'll have to check out that book series i am almost done with uh, the last of the ones from brent weeks doing the black prism uh book series the blinding knife uh, books. They're really good, but I'm almost done, so i got to get some new books. Okay, guys, bring it up. Grab the tag behind you. Hug that arm in. Let's air out those armpits and stretch our triceps. <sighs> Courtney Love is saying, um, have I seen the Wonder Woman movie? So I saw the original Wonder Woman movie, and I just saw a preview for the new one, which does look pretty darn epic. I haven't been super into the DC movies because, to be honest, I find their heroes to be too powerful. So I don't, I'm not like super interested by it. I feel like everybody is uh, can just do everything. Uh, but I did like that the Wonder Woman movie. They had like a legit storyline, and and uh, Gal Gadot is just an amazingly talented person. Okay, bring it down, you guys. Let's do the other arm. So let's bring the arm up and then hug it across. Oh, and of course, Harry Potter. Yeah, good one. Harry Potter. Yeah, that is that is such a fun world. I think I would be a muggle if I lived in that world, <laughs> but I'd make the best of it. I think the same thing would happen, though, if I was in Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, I think I would be Sokka. My superpower would just be uh, heart. <laughs> Bad puns. Uh, not giving up. Just a guy with a boomerang. Man, my arm is shaking a little bit. These were some good workouts today, you guys. Courtney Slack saying, you've never seen Harry Potter? Oh, man. Okay, here's what I recommend. Do the books first. Get If you're not, like, super into reading the audiobooks, let's switch stretches. Bring the arm up and back and hug it over. The audiobooks have a phenomenal actor who does them. Really, really good, Courtney. Uh, a million voices. And the books are great. A lot of that kind of like murder mystery sort of feel mixed with magic. It's amazing. At this point in time, though, I feel like not having seen Harry Potter makes you like the last unicorn. Oh, shoot. I got to thank another tipper. Thank you so much, AJ. I don't know what that stands for. Is that like... Um, Asahi juice. How's that said? Asahi. I don't know. Margaret's always using that, I feel like. Is that what your name for? Or does it stand for Armageddon Jeremy? Either way, thank you, AJ. Super appreciate the tip. That helps a lot. Helps me to keep making these each week. Okay, guys, let's do just a couple of shoulder rolls. Just a couple of shoulder rolls. Just to shake out what we've been doing. Roll them the other way. We're just a few more cool down stretches, you guys. Okay, let's do a couple of cat cows just to loosen up our backs. So for these, you're gonna come to your hands and knees and then you're gonna arch your belly down, roll your head up, shoulder blades pinch together, then bring your head in, arch back, round your spine. Arch through, look up. Exhale, round in. If you've been working in front of the computer a lot lately, been sitting down a lot more lately, Doing a few of these stretches is a great way to keep you from getting lower back issues. We're doing just a couple more of these. Let's just do one more. Arch it in. Big inhale. Look up. Good job, everyone. All right, you guys. We've just got, we're just going to do two more stretches. So next we're going to do a lunge half split. So we're going to come on the ground. If you want to put a pillow under your knee, you're going to bring one foot forwards 
And then you're just going to lunge down and in to get a nice stretch across your quad and your hamstring. And then just rest into that, breathe into it, let that hip fall towards the ground as you go. Good job, everyone. So I hope you guys are holding in there okay. Last week was a little nuts. I gotta be honest, it kinda hit our souls just a little bit, finding out that Bristol wasn't gonna open this summer. We've been out of work for three months and it looks like we're gonna have at least another three that will be out of work. So it's been really good having these workouts with you guys each week just to keep me motivated. When we're not doing that, we're training with Ari, who has been so much fun. Amazing guy, so we're training with him pretty much every day for about four hours. I guess come out of that, you guys. And then with your legs straight in front of you, pull your toes towards you. And then very gently walk your hands forward so you can hold on to your knee or your shin. Get a little bit of a stretch on your hamstrings. But we've been training with him, which has been fun. And then on Saturday, we just, we, instead of doing our usual fitness training, we just played silly games. And he had a launcher that they use for dogs to launch tennis balls. And we found we can instead launch beers to the neighbors and launch beers back and forth and juggle them. So it also works for cans of beer, we found out. So, uh, you know, <laughs> use that as you will. Just gonna hold this for a moment longer, you guys, and then come out of that. I'll switch sides. Oh, good job. Other side leg, bring it forwards, rest into it. Big breath. Bonus points if you can also smile as you stretch through it. Let that stress kind of fall aside. Start our Mondays with a little bit of joy in our hearts and souls. I'm gonna see if I can reach, do some curls while I stretch. Mm. So I'm right outside of our trailer right now, hanging out, you know, where we are here in the woods. And I can hear the puppy inside just running back and forth. I'm hoping Margaret is playing fetch with her. If not, I'm scared to see what I'm gonna find inside that house. Okay, come back. Pull the toes towards you. Bring it forwards. Good job. Oh, another tipper. Thank you so much. Is that Royal Blimpy? <laughs> That is a super unique name. I am hoping that you are like the emperor of the Blimpy Sub franchise. <laughs> Either way, thank you so much. Really appreciate your tip. Super cool of you. Just a moment longer, you guys. Let that hamstring release. My hammy's been so tight lately. I want to see my buddy Ziggy just checked in. Hey, Ziggy. Good to see you, man. One of my ADHD buds, who's also a bit of an insomniac. I feel like it's pretty common for us both to be just randomly awake at four in the morning. Okay, guys, we're gonna do just one last thing. We're gonna do a glute stretch to finish off our workout, stretch those booties. I'm gonna bring the camera down just a little bit. So on this one, you can put one foot out in front of you, straight out in front, then put your other leg over the top, and then hug that knee in. Hug it in tight. You should feel a stretch going across your side. You can add a twist by placing this hand behind you, going really, really tall up through your spine, and then looking back over that shoulder. Good job, you guys. We're just gonna hold this for about 10 more seconds. So as I was saying though, if you guys are new, this is our Workout Buds team. Welcome, you are now officially a member. We are the Workout Buds because we are growing, we are improving. We are those blooming flowers, the seeds that will become mighty oaks. I'm hoping we all end up getting a little bit healthier as we are stuck in this quarantine. All right guys, come out of that, put your other leg out, the other one across, hug it in. Our last stretch of this week's workout. Been so much fun. Goes by so fast. Just a moment longer, hug it in, hug it in. If you guys want to have a chance to have one of the characters in our shows named after you, I pick one from the week's tippers. So by throwing a little love our way, that is a great way to get yourself uh, entered for a chance to be named after in our show. 
Uh, if you want the info for how to tip, it is in the description of this video. I will also post it in the comments afterwards. And after the show, I try to go through and respond to all the comments I didn't get a chance to while I was busy jumping around. So I will go through the comments afterwards. Good chance to hang out and chat with you guys as well. All right, come out of that, you guys. And then I want everyone to come and just sit cross-legged or on your knees. Just a comfortable position that you can relax in for just a moment. And let's just take a second, you guys, and think about what we did in this crazy workout. So take a second, close your eyes, and think about, take just a couple of big inhales as we do this, you guys. So think about polymorphing and what we did, how we changed our bodies into these dragons in this episode. And that this is kind of what we're doing with our workouts, that we're changing our bodies, we're growing stronger, we are becoming something more, we are making something special happen. In a way, what we do with our lives is like casting a spell. When you smile, your hard work being an ally for others, trying to create the change you want to see in the world. So for a moment, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, feel that heat we've built up inside of ourselves, and imagine that energy radiating out all around you. The spell that is your smile, that is your efforts, has a wide area of effect. It does change the world around you. And today is Monday. You have a whole week ahead of you to create positive change, to polymorph the world into the one you want to see. You can make magic happen. So everybody, take a really big, deep inhale. Eyes closed. Slowly, just let it out. One more time, real big. Fill yourselves with all that energy and then let everything out. Just let it go and open your eyes and smile. You guys loved working out with you so much. This was a blast. Giant thank you to the supporters, the ones who are keeping this show going. I see you. I recognize you. You are a hero. And I love you guys. Make this week an amazing one. Make it a memorable one. Next week, we are going to be doing a lot of legs. It's going to be a leg day exercise. We're going to get those lower bodies going on. So tune in next Monday, 530. I think we got enough tippers. We're able to make another show happen. Love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Keep being incredible.